One, two. Peterson hits it in the air to left. Back at the wall. It's gone. Peterson with his third of the World Series. And he's made it three to one Dodgers in the seventh. He's fired up. Yeah. Here comes Brent Strom. So Peterson took Musgrove deep for a three run shot in game four. And he goes opposite field here. This ball carried a mile. Impressive. Just watching Gonzalez and reacting the way he did. And Peterson has been unreal for the Dodgers this World Series. Another opposite field homer. And a young lady who's disappointed in the guy with the glove. Wow. Make a catch. Come on. It's a three to one game and then. I don't know you get the sense Jack Peterson had a bet with somebody on his team in that dugout that. He was going to go deep. Yeah the motions run high you kind of black out in a situation like that so uh, I'm going to have to rewatch it. To, to see see what I did. Uh, yeah I didn't think I got it. So. Uh, I think that's what happened around in the basis is it was just a lot of emotions hit me quickly. Um, but yeah, I, I think the validation um, that ship sail, we, we knew that he earned it. Uh, he, he made sense for our roster. And so he continues to come up with big hits and, and that one right there to add a little extra cushion and, um, you know, a bloop and a blast can change the game. So that that was uh, that was a huge hit by Jock and. He continues to amaze us and put together good at bats. Well, it's interesting because this is a guy through July 28th was actually having a decent year. It's hit 248, 472 slugging percentage, but he went in the tank. I mean, so far in the tank. He went to the minor leagues, Robert, yeah. right? Guess what? He wasn't even on the division series roster. He went one for five in the NLCS. Now, here he is tonight. With this Oppo talk delicious and Dodger Stadium and put him up three to one, give him that incredibly valuable insurance run, and then he goes ahead and celebrates himself around the bases. Go ahead, young man. Wants to talk a little trash to Justin Turner, says, pay me. Go ahead. Well, guess what? The pride of Palo Alto is back. He has been slaying it in the World Series, and he gets his start against Justin Verlander, and this is game two, takes a breaking ball. Hits an absolute bomb there at Dodger Stadium. Then he backs it up. You see where he is with his timing and his leg kick, just looking comfortable. That's what showed me that he was back. That double that he hit to left center field and then comes in hot. He's got an energy that he brings to the table each and every single night, especially when he's playing well. That's a tough pitch. I would have told you the hole in Jock Peterson's swing is up and in. Well, guess what? He gets to that. That was against Musgrove. And then he gets Peacock. He should have been running on this one and standing at third base, but so what? You have to understand, and then he comes back here tonight. This is interesting because watch this. That's a fastball right down the middle. When you are upset visually and you show people that you're upset, when you miss a pitch like that, you know you're locked in, right? And then sure enough, he comes up, his last at bat, and he hits a big homer. I, You know, if, if the Dodgers win tomorrow night, Jock Peterson's going to have a say in it. He, he, he is somebody that I would not be surprised if he ends up being a World Series hero in Game 7. He just doesn't, he doesn't seem to be phased by the moment, and he's one of those guys that he's so streaky. But guess what? When his hot streak is going, yeah. phew, ride him. And, 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 you know, you look at Justin Turner, how dominant he was in the LCS. He hasn't really had the, the signature game. I mean, he did homer earlier in the series. But Jock Peterson has been that consistent offensive force. Uh, I, I'm wondering what, what, what other MVP candidates? I mean, granted, they, they need to win the series, but who, mm -hmm. 
Who do you kind of keep your eye on as maybe an MVP contender should the Dodgers be fortunate enough to win tomorrow night? Oh, well, it would be interesting to see what happens tomorrow night. Right. Who's, who's, who's that, that will have a long Coming long out of the bullpen right. and, and whatnot and who, who ends up getting the big hit. I mean, Chris Taylor's a, a guy that yep. he, he just seems to be in the middle of everything. The depth of both of these teams yes. is what makes them both great.